Senator Wallen, how does it feel to have no charges against you now? I am relieved that the nightmare is over. As Pamela Wallen arrived for work this afternoon, she seems surprised the RCMP's decision came today. I am going to be consulting with my lawyer. I haven't even seen a statement yet. Wallen has been under police investigation for three years. She paid back more than $154,000, but the Senate still asked police to investigate. The RCMP looked into 150 separate claims for trips and travel. Today, it said, the probe found nothing. The RCMP has determined that no criminal charges will be laid against Senator Wallen and will be concluding its investigational file. Wallen was kicked out of the Senate for two years without pay. Her suspension ended only when Parliament was dissolved for last fall's election. The RCMP decision comes less than a month after Senator Mike Duffy was cleared of 31 charges related to his Senate expenses. Some senators are clearly happy Wallen's ordeal is over. She's had this hang over her head now for a couple of years and uh, I'm sure she's very relieved. But a conservative senator who took a hard line against Wallen blames the media for how it unfolded. The pressure that they put on this institution at the time uh, on allegations and insinuations and accusations that hadn't been vetted by the RCMP and hadn't been vetted with various organizations uh, in large part took place because of media requests and media pressure. This one blames the police. The RCMP should have dealt with it a lot quicker. Uh, they waited way too long. Former Senator Hugh Siegel, who's a friend of Pamela Wallen's, wonders if the Conservative government pushed the RCMP into the investigation for political reasons. But any notion that the politics of the day can determine who is subject to a criminal investigation because it might be politically convenient for the government of the day has to be set aside as completely unacceptable. Wallen's lawyer says it's taken a toll on his client. It's uh, been painful. Uh, she's been hurt by it. She walks through airport and people would say things, there goes the criminal. But it has been um, a very difficult personal journey for her. O'Sullivan says he and Pamela Wallen will decide their next move soon, including possible legal action to recover her lost salary and damages for what she's been through. Margaret McDermott, CBC News, Ottawa.